Chaitanya and this is Ethan and welcome to our channel Velocity Minds. Today we will be learning exercise 1.3 problems 5 and 6 from the chapter Number Systems. Let's show it off. Hi everyone. Today we are going to see 9th CBSE Number Systems 1.3 exercise problems 5 and 6 in net. Here we have to find the maximum number of digits of repeating block of digits in the fraction 1 by 17. We have to do long division method. Okay. Here the divisor is 17. Okay. So as the divisor is 17, the maximum num number of digits of repeating block should be less than 17. Okay. It can be any number but it should be less than 17. So, the maximum number of repeating blocks. So, it should be 16. Okay. We can verify whether it is 16 or not. Okay. Now, let's start doing the long division. I am dividing 1 by 17. Okay. As all of you know, 1 is cannot be divided by 17. So, I am adding a point in the quotient area and 0. 10 is 2 not divisible by 17. So, I am adding 0 to both the areas. Now, 5 17s are 85. The remainder is 15. I am adding a 0. Now, 8 17s are 136. The remainder is 14. Now, I am adding a 0. Now, again 8 17s are 136. Now, the remainder is 4. Now, I am adding a 0. Okay. Now, 2 17s are 34. Okay. The remainder is 6 here. I am adding a 0 to it. Now 3 17s are 51. The remainder is yes 9. Now I am adding a 0. Why I am continuing this? I need a remainder 1. That is the numerator of this question. Okay. Now 90 minus 85 it is 5. So I am remaining adding a 0. Now 2 17s are 34. Now the remainder is 16. I am continuing this division in the next side. Now 16, I am adding a 0 to it. Now 9 17s are 153. The remainder is 7. Okay. Now I am adding a 0 to it. Now it is 70. Okay. So 4 17s are, it is 68. Now the remainder is 2. I am adding a 0. So 117 is 17. See. It is still going on. Now the remainder is not equal to 1 still now. So I am going to continue. 117 is 17 and the remainder is 13. Okay. Now I am adding a 0 to it and becomes 130. Okay. So now 717s are. It is 119. Now the remainder is 11. Okay. So till now. The remainder is not equal to 1 as a numerator. Okay. Now 6 17s are. What is 6 into 17? It is 102. Now the remainder is 8. Okay. Still it is not equal to 1. So I am adding a 0 to it. Now 4 17s are. 4 17s are what? What is 4 into 17? It is 68. So remainder is 0. Now I am adding a 0 to it. So 117 is 17. Okay, it's not 2, I'm sorry, it's 12. So, I'm adding a 0 to it. So, now I have to place 7 in the quotient area. 7 into 17 is 119. Now, at last I got the remainder 1, which is same as the numerator. That is very important. So, I can get the repeating blocks. Okay, that is the digits in the, after the point will be repeated when the same number in the numerator repeats itself. Okay. Can you understand? Here in the 1, the 1 is not divisible by 17. So, I can add 0. Then I can add 0 to the quotient area. Then I can add 0 near 100 and the same procedure continues. Okay. Now, what we should do is we have to count the digits in the decimal points. That is, it equal to 16. Okay. There are 16 digits. In the repeating block of digits when we divide 1 by 17 by long division method. Okay. So, already we have 
written that the maximum number of repeating blocks should be less than 17 that is equal to 16. So we have verified that. Okay. You practice this sum again in your home so that you can get a clear idea. Now let us go to the sixth question. Here we have many rational numbers in the form P by Q with terminating decimals. What is terminating decimal? For example, when 5 is divided by 2, we get 2.5 and that is it. But 1 is divided by 3, we get 0 0.333 and it goes on. So it is non-terminating. Okay. So we have to check whether there is any property of Q that is a denominator so that P by Q will surely have terminating decimals. So we can check here with three cases. That is I take some examples with 2 as denominator and then again 3 as denominator. Then I take some examples with 5 as denominator. Okay. If we do that. I can check whether is there any condition property of Q that is the denominator so that the rational number will surely have a terminating decimal. The first case is 3 by 2. When 3 is divided by 2 I get 1.5 leaving a remainder 0. Okay. Now when 7 is divided by 2 I get 3.5 leaving a remainder 0. When the remainder is 0 then it is definitely terminating decimal. Okay. Now when I divide 9 by 2, I get 4.5, leaving a remainder, yes, 0. Now I take the cases with denominator 3. When I divide 11 by 3, I get 3.6666 and it goes on. So this is non-terminating, okay. At no point the remainder will be 0, okay. So, when I divide 11 by 3, I get 3.666. Okay. Now, I take the next case 5 by 3. That is 5 divided by 3. When I get 5 divided by 3, I get 1.66666 and it goes on. So, this 2 doesn't leave a 0 as a reminder. So, 5 by 3 is 1.666 and it continues. When I divide 8 divided by 3, I get 2.6666 and it goes on. In this fraction 2, at no point it leaves a remainder 0. So, it never remains a, leaves a remainder 0. So, it is a non-terminating decimal. Okay. Now, I take the next case with denominator 5. Okay. Now, when 7 divided by 5, I get... 1.4 leaving a remainder 0. So it is a terminating decimal. Yes, correct. Now when I divide 9 by 5, I get 1.8. See, when 9 is divided by 5, I get 1.8. This is a terminating decimal because the remainder is 0. Now I divide 11 by 5 by long division method. I get 2.8. 2 as the answer leaving a remainder 0. So it is a yes terminating decimal. So when we see these cases we can clearly say that all the cases with denominator 2 and denominator 5 are terminating decimals. All the cases with denominator 3 are non-terminating. So with this, can we come to a conclusion of the property of Q, that is property of denominator? Yes. When the denominator is the powers of 2 or 5 or both, then definitely the fraction will be a terminating decimal. Okay. The denominator must be a powers of 2, that is 2, 4, anything. And the powers of 5 or powers of both. For example, powers of 10. So, if I divide one, 17 by 10, I get 1.7 leaving a remainder 0. So, it is 2 terminating. Therefore, we can come, come to a conclusion that the property of Q will be powers of 2, 5 or both. Understand? Okay. With this, I have, we have completed the questions 5 and 6 from the exercise 1.3. Now, we will see the remaining sums of that exercise in the next video. Okay? If you have any doubt, please comment below. I will reply to it.
okay whenever you get free time please practice maths okay create a connection with max and max will create a connection with you meet you all in the next video signing off parvina ramesh bye bye subscribe hit the bell leave a like if you have any